Hello everybody, welcome back to Binary Core. I'm Dadge and we're still playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Um, we left off last time, we had to go and, um, and stalk the captain, which was uh, incredibly infuriating. And then we went to the fort to um, we take possession of our goods. Uh, we left his sugar behind, uh, Bonnet Sugar, because we didn't care. Um, and we'll get straight back into the action. We've I've cut out the uh, bit in between, um, so you don't have to, to worry about that. We'll just go straight to the next mission. Enjoy. Mr. Walpole, I presume? <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Dr. Walpole? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah, quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. <sighs> Julianne Ducas. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. Interesting. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine shots. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. <laughs> Quite. A kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. <laughs> I will literally shoot you just in the heart. Not just skin. Just your no, heart. you're gonna miss. You're gonna shoot like outside of it. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique! Enough amusements, Duncan. How about a true challenge? Mate, you have to talk to what's his pistol face. Yeah. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Two blades, as is the custom, eh? Custom, aye. Well, uh, you must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. You see, the situation is well suited to your skills. Have a go! Have a, go. a blade in a crowd is always the simplest. And grandiose, just quick and clean. You can't kill them. Let my arm, my arm snake. <laughs> You're a child, baby. Yeah, take that, Scarecrow. Yeah, Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Mm. God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. 
Jesse. You climb up onto the roof. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, yeah, that's so, yeah. especially yeah, around the blind one. corner. When you promise. God blind me, that's a clever trick. I bet it's that one that you have to ask. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Magnifique. Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Sprinty, sprinty. You know how you could the first one? So. Powerful strike. Head in the wall. Forehead. Fascinating. Yes, it's right. The yes, assassins have paid you well, Doc. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's or a pending acquaintance like myself? Anything, Anything that, that may kill, kill a man, I am, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how, and is, how is your wife these days, days Captain Rogers? Rogers? Is she, is she uh, here, here in, Havana. in Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, In future, I hope to use, I hope to use these, these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau will be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Sorry, hey. Pirates, Grandmaster Torres, Mr. Duncan Walpole, has arrived. See, si. you were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. 
Look up on these images. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that wow. grants us the power to locate and monitor no, you, the other guy. Can only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. Wow. This is the observatory's promise. And oh, there's a time for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? You can literally afford new swords. Rogers shooting chat. We will soon. For in our custody is that one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet this age for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to the Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Meet him at the docks. At the docks. Quack, quack. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. There's a weird face on the map. <laughs> Beach bonfire. Goodbye, pigeon. Go murderize that person. Murderize the gun. Oh, that's where he is. Walk up and go. Look. Look if you hit him late, so. Oh, 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 can't be hit from You have to go around the outside. Go around the outside. Sandcastles! Oh, into the snow. Hey, yeah. Oh, you have to do it without any combat, so you can't kill him. No, you. Oh, he's referring to what I said earlier. Oh. oh, yeah, you did say yesterday. This area is no longer restricted because the guy that we're guarding is dead. <laughs> so you can leave now. Okay. But hold on.
I love the way that went. Not restricted because the guy's here. I love the way you died. Ah, interesting. Oh, the same thing. <laughs> yeah, let's take some cut this tonight. Pistol set! Ammunition. Is that an ammunition? Pieces of art! No, pieces of eight. Pieces of art. Okay. Look at the pistol set. One one three. Everybody from the one one three for too much fun. Oh, 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 Everybody. You should get the standard three. wheel block pistol. Yeah, they they up your range. Boss looks amazing. Yeah, but it, your range goes down by one, by two. Mm. But everything else goes up. And range is what you use the pistols for. So you want the range. Also, is there better swords? Look at the swords. God, you're such a sword. No, you can't buy anything else here. Oh, wait, no. You can buy French dress swords. No, swords are expensive. Oh, are they expensive? I saw. Oh. What? It's not. It's like choppy sword. <laughs> choppy stuff. Officer's rapier. Rapier than what? Wet willy? Rapier. <laughs> <laughs> you you didn't black, buy you go the pistols. I don't want to buy pistols. Why? They're better than your pistols. So my pistols are fine. I'm not going to use them. Must be Use that one already. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you hate most about it, really. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say! He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. It's Matt, it's Matt, it's Matt, it's Matt, it's Matt. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, see you there. The observatory was a tool to build a crowd in the precursor race. My it's worth this without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned the desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. We were able to carry out this contract. So if Ezio was. In the I, I, I was not. Ezio, these guys would be dead by Too many. Ezio, my father was dead. Rather than extinct. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that just Hi. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Kill him! They're on the rooftop! You have to use your fist and combat. Yeah. It's one of the options. Ah, yeah! Switch to the hidden blades and then defend like... What's this bit in Ali? You can see anyone. You can't put a hidden blade, they're amazing sometimes. Bastard. The one you just killed. <laughs> yeah. 
you see how this chin high when he went? Chin up. I'll give you that. Hang back and make this, easy on, and make this us, easy on both of us, mate.
Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. <laughs> With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. 